The number one tip for learning to code is consistently coding. Yep, that's it. If you are setting aside half an hour every day to code, you're already doing exactly the right thing. The key is that it's not the result that matters, it's the effort and the consistent time you put in. So if after half an hour of coding, all you have is a few lines of code that print something out to the terminal, that is a success. And if you want, your work for the day can be done. You can rest assured that you did your half an hour and that's enough. Then come back the next day, sit for at least another half an hour, and make the program do something else. When you get stuck, just figure out one question you can ask and look around online for an answer. If you're doing that much, you're already working like a professional software engineer. The key is to keep doing this consistently. Why does this work? Because coding is a craft, just like masonry, playing an instrument, or like graphic design. The best way to learn is by doing. If you have trouble motivating yourself to sit down for half an hour in the first place, you're not alone, I can totally relate. Our brains do this funny thing where they tend to be averse to doing things that might be hard, so we tend to avoid these things. There are thousands of hours of cat videos that will always be there to distract us instead. Our brains know that there will be nothing hard about clicking on that funny video or scrolling through social media. But when we think about sitting down to code, the brain might go straight to that time that we got stuck and had no idea what to do and got really frustrated. And it might try to convince us not to even do it. The brain can even temporarily erase the memories of the times that you had fun coding or got something to work. So the key here is to trick your brain into thinking it's easy. Just tell yourself, all I have to do is sit down for half an hour, open the editor, and type some lines of code. It doesn't even matter if it works yet. When I get stuck, I'll Google around and read a bit. And if I'm still stuck at the end of 30 minutes, I can continue if I want to, but I can also stop for the day knowing that I put in a good effort for half an hour. And I'll pick it up again tomorrow. So maybe you spend 10 minutes trying to recover your MongoDB password. I've been there, don't worry, that totally counts. You're doing it. Maybe your local Git configuration is acting all weird, you don't know why, and you spend half an hour trying to untangle it. You're doing it. Got yourself into Vim and have no idea how to get out? We've all been there, you're definitely doing it. This is all part of the practice. And as long as you do this consistently, that's all you have to do. Before you know it, you'll have a running program in front of you that you built yourself, and you'll be exiting Vim like a pro, I promise. So hang in there, stay consistent, and enjoy the ride. Thanks for watching, I'm Lindsay, and I hope to see you next time.